like you to see that no matter where you are, touching the earth anywhere will help you to ground and uh, reduce the effects of positive ions. So if I put the voltage meter onto the correct reading and stand with my shoes on, you can see that I've still got some conductivity with these shoes that I have on, but the, and the reading is down low. However, if I take my shoes off, you'll see that the reading will go to zero. from Mount Morning and more respectfully known as by and by the indigenous as Wollumbin. It's a very sacred place and in fact it's the largest shield vo volcano in the world and it's near Byron Bay so it's also one of the most easterly places in Australia so it's known for getting the sunlight in the morning first anywhere in Australia so it's a very special place. We're going to have an experiment because, in fact, the higher you get from the ground, the higher the reading goes. Let's turn it back on to the correct voltage reading, and you can see I'm actually on the third step. And even though before we had a voltage reading of zero, we now have roughly uh, 0.4. As I rise up each step, it's going to rise. I'm now one step higher and it's 0.6. I'm rising up another step and I'm now 0.8, nearly 0.9. So we're at home. It is the afternoon and the light's going down, but I just want to show you the effect of the electromagnetic field that's man made. So <clears throat> I actually have a grounding mat. You can see that the bottom prong is the only metal one there. The other two are plastic and they're set back. So in the actual power point itself, there is going to be no electricity going through this. This is connected to the grounding rod for the building. So this is going to be the same as me standing on the earth and obviously I'm not standing on the earth outside. So I'm going to use this mat to do that connection for me. I'm going to plug this in and I actually don't need to turn it on because there's no electricity going through this. It is simply connecting to the ground through the power point. And as you can see, the um, other power point is off as well. So we're set up, I'm in bed, it's winter, I've done what people like to do and that is I've put an electric blanket on this bed and I've placed a reading light at the head of the bed and these are strong electromagnetic fields. The thing about the electric field is that there is still one going through the cords whether the power point is switched on or not. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> that I actually have a reading at the moment of around 0.3 and the bed is down low so if my bed was up higher the reading would be higher. Now I've turned the power point on I still don't have the light turned on nor do I actually have the electric blanket turned on but we've jumped up to 4.2 volts. So if I turn my electric blanket on to the first setting it's raised the voltage through my body to around 41 volts. If I go to the next setting, it's going to raise it again, 48. And then on the higher setting, it's now around 60. I'm actually sitting still, which means that there's less currency going through my body than what there would be if I was lying down. If I touch this grounding mat, the voltage will lower considerably. I take my hand off, it will rise back up again, and then I'll lower it again by touching the energy that we receive by being connected to the earth. I've unplugged the cord 
and we've now received the lowest reading so far and that is 0.17 so if you want to be warm in winter the safest and healthiest way to do that is to warm your bed first and then turn it off and unplug it and jump in some easy ways to be able to ground throughout the day especially for those who live in the city or live or work in high rises or even work um, above the ground such as an air hostess it's important to consciously make an effort each day to touch the earth because even those of us who do live in a house it's quite easy to walk from the house to the car to the office and back again and never actually connect with the earth so things that we can do to reduce the EMF effect is make an effort to uh, have a high intake of antioxidants and that is brightly pigmented fruits and vegetables, have juice every day um, and if we go to a park we can take our shoes off and sit at the table if you don't want to sit on the ground and just having your feet, even one foot touching the earth is enough to get this amazing transfer of electrons. <laughs> Have a blissful day out in nature and enjoy the beautiful health that it brings. <laughs>